basically what we're gonna be um, checking today is in the master we're gonna um, add a segments or a curves so you can start either or with the segments or or the curves for example i'm going to use first the curves because it's simpler and easier to make a side chain effect so let's add it here and this will be the main uh, page that you will see basically it will show you like the uh, lfo shape this is the default lfo shape so what we're gonna do uh first of all is just reset this curve and we're gonna keep the polarity here. It's gonna be bipolar. And we're gonna drag this down a little bit, like this. And we're gonna add another one over here. If you're familiar with the side chain, for example, like um, um, Kickstart or even, let's say, um, LFO tool, it's very similar. It's very, very similar. So what we're gonna do is just grab this gonna do like the the typical um shape of the side chain we're gonna move it a little bit down like this this will be the shape that we're gonna be using and it will be uh we're gonna be using a quarter note so um this is the um the kick that we're gonna be using okay and this is the base it has no side chain effect and as you can see will be just straightforward it's like a shotgun right like uh like um yeah like a shotgun type of of base you just gonna have to go to the main uh, project um page so you can add the modulator over here and as you can see it's already doing like the pumping but you have to modulate something you have to drag this or you have to map it to the the volume for example let's give it a try and see how it sounds so as you can hear it's already doing something it's already uh doing the pumping and the docking so um i tend to use it like this most of the time of course if you want to do it like shorter you can move the lfo a little bit like this it will be a little bit shorter or you can do it like this it will give you more space for for the kick for example this kick has the end it's uh basically in the middle so right here it will be the vase basically so i usually use use it like this Ah, yes, we have to sync the um, the effect. So let's do it. So there you go. This will be the basic um, pumping effect, the side chain. So there's another way to do it. Uh, let me just deactivate this one. This one is not um very common but it will work so you can also grab the segments modulator we're gonna draw the same shape we're gonna reset the curve like this we're gonna choose bipolar like this Click Alt if you want to just reshape the, the wave like this and um, something like this. So there's something you have to notice. You have to change this right here. You have to select Hold. This is how I do it, of course. There's other ways to do it, but this is how I do it most of the time. And I just move this to the end so i'm just gonna mute everything and we have to select the same quarter note okay i think it was quarter note. yeah it was quarter note. yes correct so yep yeah, it's like this i'm gonna deselect the um this mooting and let's see how it works with the with the with the bass.
something that I forgot to mention. Um, you have to select in the master. You have to select um, incoming uh, MIDI, MIDI from the kick, the kick drum, for example, like a MIDI note. For example, I have the kick right here and I have a MIDI clip or on the floor. And this will be the trigger for the segments because the segments needs a trigger basically to, to work like this. Let me just do it from scratch. Let's just deselect this one from here. No input. And let's grab just like a, like an instrument, right? Right here. Let's put uh, four, four on the floor. Okay, like this, okay? So, we let it run. And now we go to the master and select it right here. The incoming MIDI from the instrument four, for example. Because if you don't have anything in the master, it will not work. As you can see, it's basically running but it's not actually triggering the segments modulator so you have to select an incoming signal here so that will basically activate or trigger the the segments so let's hear it Okay, so this is a way to do it. Uh, why I, I use this one is because sometimes when you're making the track, when you're in your arrangement, and you take off the uh, the kick, for example, well, you have to leave actually the MIDI running. You cannot just like, for example, grab this one. If you tend to do transitions, if you do this, just to make it like a silence or like a transition, it will actually remove the the, the kick. Um, I'm sorry, the segments for from work from working. So the segments will be for other purposes, but you can also do the docking with that. Another trick that I want to show you, um, it will be this. You can also get like um, like for example, um, like a template or a preset basically a preset. This will be a template, of course. You can also save it as a template and you will have always your your project having a, the sidechain effect and you can just apply it to any other tracks and it will, it will work. I like to add, for example, a um, tool. Let's add a tool here. So this will be your empty tool okay you can add your um curves like this you can actually copy this one this shape just i'm not going to do it again just to make it faster okay let me delete this one okay we have it here make sure it's active and as you can see it has to be synced it has to be in quarter note and you'll draw the shape as you want. So basically what you can do is just modulate the volume and it will be doing the same thing as having the, the, uh, the curves in the project side. So the good thing about this one, if you save it as a preset or you save it as a default, is that you will always have the side chain in the tool. And what I like to do is, I like adding, for example, a um, macro. And I will actually map this macro to the to the percentage of the sidechain. As you can see, if I lower this down, it will not do the pumping. It will stay, um, you know, with no effect. So I will map it. Let me see here. like this you can rename it you can select sidechain there you go 
and then you can add it to the to your remote controls. Like this. So anytime you want to use the sidechain, you can just move everything up to 100. If you don't want the sidechain and you want to use the tool as usual, just move it all, all the way down to zero. Okay. So this will be you this could be your like your sidechain uh preset every time you want to dock something. Let's hear it. And let me just remove this one that we had before. Just deactivate it. Um, and this will be your your preset, for example. Let's just save it. Like sidechain. Default. One. Whatever. And there you go. Now you can select it from your presets. Yeah, sidechain default one. Okay. I think I save it as a default, so if I open my tool, it's saved as a default. So there you have it. Um, this is how we do the sidechain in Bitwig. It's the easiest way for me. And um, there's some other ways to do it, of course, but um, it's always nice to have uh, an MSEC modulator like the segments or the curves to just basically facilitate the work and make um, you know the effect like the LFO tool or or the kickstart from Nick and Romero. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, this was a very requested tutorial from you, and I really appreciate your your um, suggestions, your comments. Thank you so much for following the channel. If you want to leave a like, please do it. You can help the channel. You can visit my, page, my Patreon. And uh, there will be more things to come, uh, more presets, um, samples, sample packs, and also um, templates for melodic techno and other genres. So thanks so much. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you next time.